I'm grateful for the opportunity to share that we are developing a plan to slowly ease restrictions under the condition of some important prerequisites. This will not happen all at once, but in stages when our public health experts deem it appropriate and safe. We don't want to undo all the good we've done and accomplished so far. We are not yet on the other side of this pandemic, and we don't want to prematurely ease restrictions that could overwhelm our hospitals and unnecessarily put lives at risk. We've set four key benchmarks that will have to be achieved before we can begin to lift the people who are sick and those who have standard health care needs. The modeling conducted by the Department of Health Services indicates that we currently have the capacity, but we must protect our resources to sustain our ongoing needs. This includes adequate staffing, testing, ventilators, and other medical supplies to handle routine care and prepare for any increases. Second, we have to make sure we have protections for people who are especially vulnerable. These are people who have underlying health conditions, are elderly, are experiencing homelessness, live in institutional settings, or don't have access to services. This is the same. Third, we must have the capacity to test, isolate, and quarantine people and have surveillance to prevent further spread. Fourth, and finally, we have to maintain physical distancing and infection control. It will be the county's role to provide businesses with educational materials and guidance to make this possible and to enforce compliance. Ultimately, we want to make sure that as many people return to work as safely and as quickly as possible. If we meet our, got the guidelines I shared, we can prevent or limit the spread of COVID-19 when we loosen, loosen physical distancing measures. Until then, I thank you for your patience and your compliance. Your commitment to your health and the well-being of your family and neighbors has gotten us this far. It is in this same dedication that will help us rebuild LA County stronger than before.